Yo, what is up guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna give you 20 tips for upcoming music producers. Basically the things I wish I know when I started making music. As this video would take too long if I give you 20 tips in just one video, I'm gonna divide this in two parts. In this first part I'm gonna give you 10 tips and in the second part I'm gonna give you 10 more tips. But if you want me to make the second part, let's try to get to 500 likes in this video. So right now, scroll down, click the like button and if we reach 500 likes, I will make the second part for you. And also don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications so this way when I make the second part you're not gonna miss it. You you're gonna know the 10 more tips that I have to tell you and also you're gonna know when I make other videos about EQ and reverb, about how to mix, how to make this genre, that genre or how to improve in general as an artist. And with that being said, let's start with the tips. The tip number one is just to start. If you're really interested in this, start producing. Don't think that you need a super expensive and super cool studio with $10,000 speakers with a super cool, large and curved uh, screen and a really expensive computer. No, you don't need any of those things. You just need a computer to start. Just that. Think that at the beginning, you're not really gonna know what sounds good and what sounds bad. If this needs more mids, more highs, less mids, less highs, more bass, you know, more punch, less punch. You're not gonna know about those things. So just Download the DAW if you're really interested in this and start making music. The tip number two is to don't overestimate. Don't think that in two, three months you're gonna be releasing a track on Reveal because probably that is not gonna happen. You need to know that this takes a lot of time. You need to work a lot on this to get a decent quality. I would say that maybe you need at least one year of working a lot every day to get an average mix down quality. Of course, the more you work, the faster it's gonna be. If you just work maybe twice a week or three times a week, probably it's gonna take you maybe two years, two years and a half. And then when you have a good quality in your tracks, it's also gonna be hard to get your track in big labels. So think that it's gonna take a lot of time. Don't think that in three, four, five months you're gonna be releasing tracks in big labels, making big hits with millions of streams on Spotify and you're gonna get rich because that is not gonna happen. The tip number three is to invest as much as you can. As I said in the beginning, you don't need expensive things. You just need a computer and maybe some bad speakers, some bad headphones or some earphones to just start making music. Because maybe you think that you're gonna like this, but when you start, you realize that you don't like to make music. So at the beginning, don't invest money. But then as soon as you know that you like this, that you want to improve, you want to try to make good music, invest as much as you can. My advice would be the first thing, try to get the headphones instead of speakers. Because if you had headphones, you just need to plug your headphones to your computer and just that. But if you get the speakers, you should have some stands or some acoustic foam and then try to treat your room and all these things to try to listen at least in a better quality, you know? But if you get headphones, you don't need to treat anything. And from there, invest as much as you can in things you, you think are useful for you. For example, if you think you need a microphone, just try to get a good microphone. Then if you want speakers, get the speakers. Maybe invest in promotion, invest in vocals and all these things. And in my opinion, this is the good way to grow because if you never invest, you're not gonna get better tracks, you're not gonna get better promotion, you're not gonna get a better sound system to hear better what you're making. Of course, the gear is not the important thing, it's the ears. But if you have really bad speakers or really bad headphones, of course, you're not gonna hear well what you're making. The tip number four is to apply the tutorials knowledge. Apply what you see on tutorials. It's good to watch tutorials, especially when you're starting because you don't know anything. You don't know how to EQ, how to play river, how to sidechain and all these things. So it's good to watch tutorials. But my advice is don't spend like 10 hours every day watching tutorials and watching the same things. So for example, if you want to know how to play reverb, try to watch one or two tutorials about reverb and then go to your DAW and apply those things. Don't wait until the next day, don't wait one week because then you're gonna forget about all the things you learn. And this is also a thing I tell to people that sometimes I coach. I recommend them that after finishing the coaching session, instantly open their DAW and practice the things I show them. This way is the only way that you're gonna keep your things in mind. Otherwise, you're just gonna forget about them and you're not gonna remember how to do the things. The tip number five is to meet people. It's so easy nowadays to meet people. I mean, you just need to go to their Instagram, follow them, let's see if they follow you back, and then start talking. Don't go like, hey, do you want to call up? Don't start a conversation like this. Just start with, hey, I like what you do, or what, are, what kind of music do you do? Can you show me something, you know? Try to create a friendship, try to get some friends. This is the way you, you're gonna grow faster. Because if you get some friends that also produce, then when they learn something, they tell you, hey, Look what I've learned, you know, or watch this, this tutorial, or it's so good, or what, read that book, or this article, or whatever. And then you can send them your music and they can say, hey, this sounds bad, this is good, try this, try that, you know. This is the way that you can grow a lot faster. If you just try to go alone just by yourself, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. 
the tip number six is to learn the shortcuts of your DAW. I have a video where I show you the most important shortcuts of FL Studio, I put the link up here so you can watch it. And I highly recommend to learn all the shortcuts because this way you're gonna make things a lot faster. And the faster you make the things, the better because otherwise maybe if it takes you too long to maybe put something in the mixer or open uh, an EQ, you know, or do whatever you want to do. Maybe you forget about the ideas that you had in mind or you lose the creativity and all these things. So the faster you make things, the better. The tip number seven is to finish your songs. Always finish your songs, especially when you're starting. Let's say that you start a lot of ideas. You're getting good at starting ideas, you know, from a blank project, creating a chord, creating melody, deciding the songs and all these things. And then you keep producing, so you get better at mixing, at the arrangement, all these things, but you never finish your tracks. So what's gonna happen? That you didn't do the final mixing. You never practice that. And also you never practice the mastering. So then when you have a good song that you want to finish and you want to release, as you never practice those last steps, Steps, you're gonna probably mess up with that at the end. So maybe you're gonna make your track sound worse than it should. So my advice, is, especially at the beginning, is to finish always your songs. This way you practice all the production steps. The tip number eight is to always compare your music to professional songs. I always, always, always recommend you to have reference songs when you're producing. When you start the track, it's gonna give you some ideas about what kind of effects you can use here and there, what kind of arrangement, where to add some percussion, what percussion, and all these things. When you're mixing a track, it's gonna be good to know if your track sounds good or not. And when you're mastering, it's gonna be good also to know if it's loud enough or not. So try to compare your song to professional songs, so this way you're gonna know if it sounds good or not. And if it doesn't sound good, and if it doesn't sound close to that sound, just just keep working until you get a closer sound to that. This way is the way you're gonna improve. But if you never compare it, you don't have a reference of how your track should sound. So you're not gonna know if it sounds good or bad. An extra tip, if you use reference songs that are in the same key, it's gonna be even better. Tip number nine is to don't care about mastering. Yeah, you heard me right, don't care about mastering. Most of you think that mastering is the key to make your track sound good and it's not like that. Mastering is the last step to basically making your track sound loud and maybe make it sound a bit cleaner or something, some details, but it's not gonna solve the problems on your mix down. So try to not focus on that. A lot of people send me songs and say, oh, I just need the mastering. With the mastering, I'm gonna solve this. With the mastering, it's gonna sound better. No, with the mastering, it's not gonna sound better. If your track sounds bad, it's gonna sound even worse with mastering because you're gonna boost the problems of your track. So try to get better at arranging the track, at making ideas, at deciding what sounds are good or not, at mixing the track, and then in the end, you can also send your track to somebody else to master it if you're not good at that. But don't think that the mastering is gonna make your track sound super good and it's gonna be a hit because of the mastering, because it's not gonna be like that. If your track is good, even if it's not mastered, maybe the big artists support your track and play it everywhere, because the track is good. What's important is how it sounds. But if you have a really super cool mastering and it sounds super loud and that, but the idea is bad or the mix sounds so bad, that, they're not gonna support anywhere. And the last tip for this first part of 20 tips for upcoming producers is don't think that you are the best. If you have been maybe six months producing, don't think that you are the best and the rest don't know anything. And if they say, yeah, your track is bad, it's because they don't know about music. If somebody has been producing maybe three, four, five years and give you some feedback, trust about that feedback. If they say that they don't like the idea, yeah, maybe it's just their opinion and somebody else like it. But if they say they, it sounds bad, it sounds bad, trust them. You've just been only six months producing or seven months or eight months or one year. So probably you don't have a really good quality in your tracks yet. And then when you've been like two, three years producing and when you listen to your old songs, you're gonna realize that that people were right. Okay, so don't go like, I'm the best, my music is the best and if labels don't want to release my music it's because they don't know anything. So well guys, here are the first 10 tips for upcoming producers, thing I wish I know when I started making music. As I said, if you want me to make the second part with 10 more tips, just scroll down, click the like button and try to get 500 likes on this video. And also subscribe so you don't miss the video when I release it. So nothing else guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just put it down below in the comments and see you in the next video.